You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Hello and welcome to Thought for November the 19th. Our readings are Nehemiah chapter 7, Joel chapter 2, and 2 Thessalonians chapters 1 and 2. And our thought is, Vengeance on those who do not know God. Our thoughts flow on from those of yesterday. What is it to know God? This is surely distinct from believing in a Creator. We quoted yesterday from today's first chapter of 2 Thessalonians that Christ's return will be to inflict vengeance on those who do not know God. Verse 8. Adding, and on those who do not obey. This indicates that some people will say they believe there must be a God, a creator, but feel it is impossible to know anything about him so as to achieve a relationship with him. So what happens to such people in that day? Paul says that Christ comes on that day to be glorified in his saints and to be marveled at among all who have believed. Verse 10. And what marvelling this will be. Imagine it. It will be far beyond our present comprehension. We read on and see the profound simplicity of Paul's next words. To this end we always pray for you, that our God may make you worthy of his calling, and may fulfil every resolve for good and every good every work of faith by his power, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him. Verses 11 and 12. Is this happening to us, within us? Are we surrounded by such committed believers who strengthen each other? If we are not, let us seek for this, praying about this, There is no middle way. The rest will suffer. We must really overcome the godlessness that surrounds us. We must fully realise there is no middle way. Jesus said, Woe to the world for temptations to sin. Matthew 18 verse 7 We can only conclude, Woe to today's world, even on those who pay lip service to believing there is a God because they make no effort to make themselves fully resist the temptations and worthy of his calling. Let us make sure we know God and his Son as fully as possible. The heartfelt nature of our prayers are wonderful evidence of this. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word knowing that word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at bt f at cdvideo.org. If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom.
Amen. Thank you.